standards of conduct. Baltimore County Delegate Jay Jalissi on no-show as his peers voted to publicly reprimand him for engaging in a pattern of bullying and abusive workplace behavior. It was uh, emotionally challenging for me to be, uh, to be penalized for something which I just think is tone policing. The 136 to nothing vote comes after an investigation by the Joint Committee on Legislative Ethics. They determined Jalisi engaged in a five-year pattern of verbal abuse that created what one staffer called a toxic work environment. But you were saying that this is a political hit job it was a smear campaign. So who do you believe is out to get you and why? I, I don't want to get into the, the weeds of it. What about the accusation that you had someone stand in the middle of the office, repeat, I am incompetent? That's not true. That is absolutely not true. Jalisi believes the Ethics Committee, which usually takes up complaints about sexual harassment and misappropriation of funds, is overreaching by taking issue over Jalisi's management style. Um, in my uh, uh, five years, I think this is the first time that somebody has been reprimanded for basically being a tough boss. Jalisi disputes reports the speaker told him several times to change his ways. Unless Jalisi participates in an anger management civility program, the General Assembly will not pay for his staff. But if you undergo the counseling that they're recommending uh, and certify it, um, the staff gets paid again. Yes, and it's again, like I said, that is something which I have not made a decision on. Jalissi calls accusations he abused hotel staff a gross exaggeration. He says he questioned the hotel policy change on food vouchers. Some are suggesting that you owe somebody an apology. Well, see, so, so you, I don't know who's saying it. Um, I'm sure that the, um, uh, that the apology um, uh, should come for the mistakes if I have made them. Delegate Jalisi has staffers working for him without pay. He says moving forward, he will pray, meditate, and continue to work hard for his constituents. In Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.